Elevator pictures are an art. To get that right, to get that first impression correct, it really is a skill. It's something you have to practice. It's something you have to craft. Um, not everybody does it very well. Some people do. And uh, I mean, I've been doing it for years, but I still don't get it right all the time. So it's definitely something that you have to keep working on. Uh, remote, thank you, Scott. Cool. Okay. So, what is an elevator pitch? An elevator pitch is essentially a 30 second answer to the question, so what do you do? 30 seconds doesn't sound like a lot of time, but as I said, if you're creating a first impression, 30 seconds is more than enough time to create a favorable feeling and to get someone get someone interested and hooked in on what, what it is that you do and what you offer. I have a little picture of elevators for you, just to make it interesting. Um, what I'd like you to do quickly, because Robin's been going through a whole lot of material with you and been refining what you offer and um, what your benefits are. What I'd like you to do is just pair up. I think everybody's, you're alone. Has everybody else got somebody that they can pair up with quickly? Okay, I want to give you literally 30 seconds, person on that side of the pair, 30 seconds to tell the other person what it is that you do, and then I'll tell you time and then we'll switch over and do it the other way. So just off the cuff, on the fly. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay. Go. So most of you almost got there. Um, how many of you think you, you accurately conveyed what it is that you do? Not so many. Maybe? Okay. <laughs> um, and when you were listening to the other person speaking, how many of you were really interested in what they were saying? You're all being so nice. <laughs> okay, well, I can tell you, I've heard a lot of people answer that question, like, yes, yeah, so what do you do? Ask them. And within like three seconds, my eyes like glaze over, and I'm like, yeah, smile and wave. <laughs> and they lose me. It's, it's jargon, or it's complicated words, or, or they don't really know what they're saying, and, and they're stumbling over their words, and they repeat themselves, and, and they just lose me so quickly. And it happens, it happens a lot. So an elevator pitch, your 30 seconds, you need to use really simple language. No jargon, no technical terms. You need to be really concise. And the big test that I find with an elevator pitch is, if you were to pitch it to your granny, would she understand it? That's a really tough one. I know my mum has taken me years to convince my mum, or not to convince her, to explain to her what I actually do. Um, when I was working in an ad agency, she thought I was doing install promotions and pick and pay. <laughs> so it's taken me a long time to get that right. Okay, so keep it simple, keep it succinct, very quick, and your brand should understand it. So elevator pitches, is it something you only do in a lift? Obviously not. You do it around the bride. You do it in social situations. Um, can anybody say for an example of where you were asked, like, so what do you do in like a bizarre kind of context? I know I've been asked on planes. I've given a lot of business cards out when I've been flying up to Joburg. Um, you know, you sort of sit next to someone, you're like, oh, I'm stuck in the middle seat, and then you actually get chatting to someone, and it's really interesting. And the first question somebody will say to you is like, oh, so what do you do? Why are you flying to Joburg? So it can happen anywhere. You can get asked this question. In the queue at the bank, people can ask you that sort of thing. Anywhere where you stand and you're bored. <laughs> people are going to start chatting. In the toilet. In the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Many men. <laughs> so I stand in the urinals, absolutely. I think women are more like, you know, sort of like underwear. Did you see that hot guy by the bar? <laughs> I'm generalizing, don't you think? <laughs> okay, so yeah, elevator pitches. Obviously, the really crucial place to be able to have a really snappy elevator pitch is at networking events. You're at a networking event right now. Um, you never know who's going to be here. It might be a future client of yours. It might be somebody you can do business with. You, business with someone you can collaborate with. Um, so, any time you're out there and interacting with people is an opportunity to give your elevator pitch. Yeah, I guess the message there is you just don't know when you're when you're. Let's see where your next client is going to come from. So what should you say in an elevator pitch? I think Robin has, has touched on a lot of the very important things, but you took out your kind of five key things, your, your reason to believe and why people should choose you and your main benefits. That's what should really come through. But you also need to consider who it is that you're talking to. Um, there's a really nice acronym, I'm sure you guys have heard it, called KISS, K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. 
That's, I mean, that's the key. Whatever you're saying, it's got to be simple. You don't want someone to be looking like this when you're telling them your elevator pitch. You want them to get it straight away. 